a nice juicy one. Would you rather walk on hot coal? <laughs> Ow. Would you rather get hit with a frying pan <laughs> for hours on end? Or would you rather stand up in front of a crowd of people and make a speech, just like I am? Now, put your hands up if you wouldn't want to make a speech in front of a group of people because of nerves. Well, that's quite a few of you, and that's completely natural, as three out of four people suffer from speech anxiety problems. So don't worry, as you're all in the same boat, me included, as I do have nerves quite often when doing speeches, and that is one of the reasons why I've chosen to talk about such a topic. Now, the film The King's Speech, which I'm sure many of you have seen, shows speech anxiety and speech impairments. And as seen in the film, such problems can have huge negative influences on people's lives and careers. So it is paramount that people have the confidence and determination to beat such things and speak out, just as this fantastic project helps people to do. Now, a few months ago, I was at a community conversations with Mayor Boris Johnson on the panel. And it came to a question and answer session. And at first, I was quite skeptical and nervous if I were to ask any questions. But I thought to myself, I have a voice. I should have it heard. So I put my hand up as high as I could. And sadly, in the end, my question wasn't answered. But I was proud that I had the confidence and determination to put my hand up and have my voice heard. Because at the end of the day, what all of you have to say is so much more important than any of those nerves you carry with you. So I ask you, can you speak out? Yes. Can you beat your anxieties? Yes. Can you have your voice heard? Yes. Yes, you can. With confidence and practice, you can achieve.